Um, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson just finished touring one of the two Duke Energy substations that were attacked on Saturday night, causing widespread power outages. WRL's Keenan Willard was the only reporter there and moments ago spoke exclusively with the Lieutenant Governor. Keenan. <laughs> So Jeff, we weren't able to actually follow Robinson inside the Duke Energy compound, and the company's actually pushed us across the street. That right there is the West End substation, or the entrance to it. They actually went inside beyond, uh, over some train tracks, we were able to tour one of the substations impacted by the attacks on Saturday night. And afterwards, Robinson told me his biggest priority is stopping an attack like this happening to other parts of the state's infrastructure. Now, additionally, alongside Robinson, there was a number of reps from the state legislature as well as the Moore County Sheriff. I asked Robinson what he was looking for, and he told me he wanted to gain an understanding of how the substation worked so that he could focus on hardening this and other critical infrastructure in North Carolina. He says right now the state's working to find the people behind this attack and prevent future ones. Now, there's been widespread community belief here in Moore County that these attacks may have been connected to a drag show that was happening at the Sunrise Theater in Southern Pines just as the power went out. The show had been the target of weeks of anti-LGBTQ rhetoric and calls for protests over social media. The lieutenant Governor himself has a history of making anti-gay statements, calling homosexuality and transgenderism filth during a speech last year. I asked Robinson whether his rhetoric could have made a hate-motivated attack more likely. Do you believe that your comments could have fostered an environment where an attack all like this right would have been more likely? All of that is foolish speculation that we don't need right now. What we need to focus on is a solution to make sure that this does not happen again. I also asked Robinson if maybe he would like to see a task force set up specifically to address hardening critical infrastructure in North Carolina. He says he's not ready to go into specifics with a plan. They'll have to get with state energy leaders first before they make any final decisions. Jeff. Keenan Robinson, uh, Keenan Willard, live for us right now, live at noon. Keenan, thank you.